This is a short video outlining the basics of one of our most popular products, the Cubic Cycle Shelter. We offer it in a variety of finishes. Here it's seen with timber cladding, um, probably the most common product we sell in terms of the Cubic. It's very versatile. We also have mesh cladding, again, a very popular option. Um, we can offer steel profile cladding, custom branding on that, powder coating. Additionally, we do a glass cladding Cubic which becomes a cycle hub design. Um, it's available in single tier and double tier variants, as you can see from some of these images. That's to hold a two tier or a single tier rack. Quite a common question we get is whether the shelter is manufactured in bays, um, which is seen in some of these images where we've got multiple gates on the front. Um, we don't manufacture the shelter in bays, as I'll demonstrate shortly. There are standard modules for the cubic, um, but in terms of the amount of gates or doors or the, the size of the unit, that's largely dictated by the number of bikes that you're looking to park or the space you have available. Um, we'll also consider the type of rack that we're going to position internally. So well, let's try and think of it from that point of view rather than matching a, a style we've manufactured before. The Cubic is available in standard module sizes. These can be seen here in these CAD files. Uh, we have the double-sided modules here on the left and some single-sided modules on the right. These can be for single-tier or double-tier parking. And in this case, uh, we've shown some two-tier bike racks within the Cubic. We have this access corridor down the centre of the double-sided variant and a loading space or access corridor on the right-hand side of the single-sided variant. Both of these can be extended or reduced to suit any number of bikes. Um, as I've already discussed, most projects do end up being bespoke or we don't necessarily stick to these modules, but in terms of early planning or coming to manufacture, it is always easier if we've stuck to our standard modules. They don't have to be an enclosed compound as shown here. We've also got an open-sided variant, which you can see is just a standard module in this case of a double-sided and a single-sided variant where we've left one side open. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, there's quite a lot of detail available on our Knowledge Hub on our website, or alternatively, feel free to get in touch with us.